What's going on guys? Pete Oak here and I am bringing you a Ultra Street Fighter, I was about to say Super Street Fighter 4, an Ultra Street Fighter 4 um, endless set of games here in which I play Relinto the Plumber. He's here to clean your toilet and he's here to clean house. Although that is the title of the video but I don't really clean house in this set to be honest. I just kind of drop a lot of combos and generally do a lot of Relinto gameplay that's very fraudulent and will probably get beat next week. Whenever people actually start learning the character. But nevertheless, I decided to upload a video and commentate over it this time around. Because I did upload two Ultra Street Fighter 4 videos last week. It was the Red Focus combo video and a day one rank set of Rose, which I didn't commentate on because I, wa I wasn't really in the uh, in the mind well not really mindset, but I wasn't really in like the position to be doing a commentated rank set for Rose. So I figured I'd just upload some of like the highlights from my day one gameplay. You know, some of the brand new characters, the you know day one of the game being released. And so I figured I'd just upload that. And generally, very good responses for that. I'd like to thank all of you for your participation and you know enjoying those videos. Um, I'm loving Ultra Shooter 4. In this video, I'm basically going to talk about my week one impressions on the game. Even though a lot of people did day one impressions. Once again, I've been busy with like. Uh, exams and stuff like my exams picked up as Ultra Street Fighter 4 you know came out. I had a bye week the week before that, and I would have loved it if the game came out then. But unfortunately, I had it come out you know the fifth week that I got my three final exams. As I'm recording this, I am um, just finished my second to last exam. My final exam is in two days time, and so I figured I just uh, you know celebrate my second to last exam being done. But it was a two and a half hour paper, it was pretty nuts. But um, I decided that I would. Go uh, jump on to some endless, not on ranked because my Relento will get flipping bodied, and uh, play and just create a three-man lobby. I play a various, a variation of players here, uh, but I figure that I just um, once again, similar to my Rouge video, I would just take the best matches here and just uh, compile them in a little video. And this time I'll commentate over them and give my thoughts on some of the new characters, give my thoughts on the game in general, and give some plans for my Ultra Shooter 4 coverage. In comparison to my Ultra Street Fighter 4 coverage, there you go, the first match is over and we're heading into the second match uh, where I fight this evil Ryu player. I fight this guy, I believe, two or three? I think I've him three times in this uh, set because he's, he's pretty decent, I suppose. But I mean, everyone's pretty decent against my Relento, let's put it that way. Uh, but anyway, alright, speaking of Relento, he's definitely my new favourite character out of the new bunch. Originally, I was quite a big fan of Hugo and then I realised just how ass he was and I figured, um, let me pick up some Relento. Uh, but like in terms of the other characters, Elena, I just cannot get into. Poison, I think she's pretty viable, but the problem for her is like I'm just not really feeling her. She feels a bit too similar to Rose for me, and I'd rather pick up a character that has a different play style. Hugo, like I was just saying, I mean he's really fun to play, but oh, just messed up. To can't be. I actually don't like playing her because everyone's playing her at the moment. Like if you jump on ranked, I've jumped on ranked um, two more sets after the uh, day one ranked. So I don't have that many points as you can see, but from what I've seen, I fought a lot of DiCaprio players, and I figured I'd rather halt playing DiCaprio, you know, for the time being, and wait until you know some actual technology is discovered for her, and until I actually want to play the character, if if that even happens. I was saying I was saying the same thing like an AE came out for Oni, and I was like, oh, I'll get into this character when everyone stopped playing him, and once everyone stopped playing him, I just didn't really get into him. But no, Relento, I started playing them at about the second half of uh, day one, and I honestly just fell in love with the character. Like, I love his mix ups, I love his combos. I literally, for like day two of Ultra, I didn't record anything, but I just sat in the lab with Relento and just practiced all kinds of practices, his different combos, practiced his FADCs, practiced his um, EX uh, Rekka follow ups. Um, I practiced like Ultra 1 setups, Ultra 2 setups, and honestly, I just love the character. And as you can see, I'm flipping dropping my FADCs and everything. I mean, these matches, like, I, I haven't been playing Ultra, like, very. Like, normally, I would have jumped on Street Fighter, like, maybe once every, like, two or three days or so. Literally, this is me playing Ultra after, like, flipping, like, several days of not playing it. And so, as you can see, I'm dropping, like, a good lot of my combos. I do apologize for that, for that rusty Relento combos and stuff, but hopefully, you know, the general gameplay makes up for that. Um. And so, Relento, yeah, I really do enjoy it. His combos are kind of difficult to hit, I will admit. Like, even offline, like, I had an offline set with, uh, my, with one of my friends on, um, like, on Friday. And, like, I w I, again, I was playing Relento a good lot. And even offline, I was finding his combos, like, granted, it was easier to hit them offline. 
But I mean, they're still pretty difficult to hit. It's just someone I think I'm gonna have to get used to. And, uh, that's alright, I suppose. And yo, I love this alternate costume for Relento Yu. He's gonna, he's gonna plumb your toilets. Look at him. I love that costume. So, that's the new characters. Red Focus, I suppose. I think Red Focus, I suppose, is alright. Like, none of my characters really utilize it. By the way, just as an update, I don't play Ryu anymore. I don't play Seth anymore. Not really. I play Geef the odd time, but I wouldn't consider him one of my mains. My main in this game is definitely Rose, not because, oh, oh to your horror, oh, I, love, I love playing my Rose because you're so powerful now. But, but that was my main goal, like whenever Ultra was coming out, I was saying, I'm going to main Rose, you know, no matter what. And so, obviously, Rose is the card I've been playing with the most. She's the one I got the most battle, uh, battle points with, I'm ranked. But I mean, ever since I started discovering Belento, I really want to pick him up and I really want to, like, you know, utilize him, I think. Because, I mean, oh, I just, like, I mean, I just love the character design, to be honest. Like, I just think he's so cool. I just love the way, I just love some of his mix-ups. I love his, like, frame traps. So, oh, just, he's brilliant. And that's why I decided to jump on and listen, you know, exclusively play Relento. I don't think I've done that at all since Ultra came out. Normally, I mix and match, you know, double Ultra, you know, with some characters. Uh, I don't really want to play a huge amount of characters like what I did in Super. Because in Super, if you remember, uh, Super, in Arcade Edition, if you remember, I was, I was playing Ryu, um, Geef, Seth, Rose, I was also throwing in some Cody, some Kami, throwing in Evil Ryu as well. You know, like I was throwing in all these characters and I figured I might as well keep it a bit more, you know, secluded this time around. I'm just going to hit by level 3 because I'm a scrub. <laughs> so, I, I want to try and keep it a bit limited in terms of the characters that I'm playing now and so hopefully I can get a bit better, like my general gameplay can get better. And here's me for then not being able to hit Ultra 2, because that's, that's what I need to work I need to work on my reactions to fireballs and stuff, because Redento's Ultra 2 is so good. Like, I think it's one of the best Ultras, because, I mean, it's, like, it does huge damage. It goes, you know, it's a, it's a really good anti-air Ultra. It's a really good um, anti-fireball Ultra. It's just, oh, it's just, I love it. It's brilliant. And, like, a lot of people use Ultra 1 just because you can combo into it, but no, I really, you know, I really love Ultra 3, to be honest, so... My general theory feelings on Ultra itself is I really, I really enjoy it. I think the hype is back. Look, I think people are getting excited for Street Fighter 4 again. Finally, you know, I haven't seen this much excitement since AE came out back in 2012, 2011, maybe. So yeah, I think it was 2011. Jeez, doesn't time fly. So I do really enjoy it. Like, oh, and I'm not saying that because oh, my character got buffed. Because I mean, Seth got nerfed, and like Zangief is just plays a lot differently. Ryu, I completely fell out of love with. And so, you know, even though Ryu got very slight buffs, Geef got some buffs and some nerfs, and Seth got mostly nerfs. You know, I'm not saying that from a standpoint that, oh, my characters got really good, therefore I'm loving the game, and that's why. So I just really like it just because I really like the way it moves. You know, I'm, I'm, I really like the new characters, like I said. Like, I don't think there's any dud characters in this here. Like, I do think all characters are, all the characters are pretty fun. Even Elena, yeah, I might try and, you know, work out some of her stuff later on. But... That's what I generally think about the game itself. Um, ranked matches are an absolute chaotic for the first week, but I kind of, I kind of, kind of expected that to be honest. You know, the ranked matches to be absolutely nuts for the first week or so. So I've, for the most part, I've been steering clear of it. I've been playing endless mostly with some friends. Sometimes I play endless by myself. Sometimes I just play offline. You know, that's the way I usually do. Back when AE was out, like I've been playing it with a few um, people. I've been playing it with um, Sandman's the main guy I play with, obviously. Um, I play uh, the odd time with Chris. I play the odd time with flipping Taz, which is pretty sick. Taz, uh, Bumblebee, Cody. If some of you might know him, you might. I mean, I'd be very impressed if some if some of you guys recognised him because he was in some of my old footage. You know, like older, old, like back when I was still using the camera. Like he used to be in my Street Fighter stuff. He's kind of coming back into the game. I don't want to say, oh, he's making this official turn. He's, you know, he's getting like he's enjoying poison. Like he's a really good poison fire, I think. And so we've been playing a few poison visual into the set that are always pretty fun. I've also been playing a bit with the guy I was talking about, um, Cameron, um, offline. It's funny because you know Owen, but then, uh, the guy you usually play offline, he doesn't even have Ultra yet, and so I can't exactly play offline to him, but Cameron's really enjoying the game as well. So I just really enjoy the fact that a lot of people are enjoying the game again. Even though, like, Sandman's a bit annoyed that his. That, I mean, I feel kind of bad for him because, like, all of his characters get nerfed, which is pretty nuts. You know, like, his main character, Honda, got absolutely destroyed for like no reason and I'm still pretty uh, I, I'm annoyed for him about the situation with Honda but little I can do about it I'm, I don't work for Capcom so I can really I don't really have a say in anything uh, by the way this video is running is quite long I reckon it's about how long is it it's about 14 minutes or so so I'm gonna talk a little bit now about my plans for the rest of my Ultra Shooter 4 footage 
and then I'll just sign off there. So, in terms of how I'm going to cover this game, if you, some of you guys remember, I have a very impressive video again because this, this came in. This was like three, three or uh, two or three years ago when I covered AE. The first, like one of the first videos I did was I did an Evil Re tutorial for AE, and I'm going to be honest, I really didn't know what I was on about. It was something 240p quality. I had only been playing the game for like just under a year, and so I was trying to make it seem as if I knew everything when I really knew nothing. And I mean, people still enjoyed it, which I was very surprised about. I mean, especially more so now, because I'm like, oh jeez, because like, you know, you, you might upload a video that's very helpful, but if it's not directly what the people need, you'll get bashed for it. You know, that's the unfortunate side of like fighting games. It doesn't always happen, but like, you know, like my tutorial showed. But I mean, I was considering doing one for Relento as well, but then I kind of figured that after day, like day two, I was kind of contemplating, oh, you know, maybe I should do something for Relento. Then I kind of thought, uh. Half the stuff's probably going to be very outdated after a while, and so I figured I'll just hold off on it for now. If I do a tutorial on Relento, I want it to actually mean something. I want to actually have a legacy and not just be stuff that is going to be like rebukes in like a week's time and people discover ways to avoid it. Like if I don't want to say, "Oh, this setup's is really good because you can't anti-air it," and then later on people will discover you can anti-air it, it's like, well, that's no point in the tutorials. I did it, so. And I was also considering doing a combo video for Relento using some of the combos I discovered. But again, everyone like everyone was doing combo videos, especially Desk. He was like the main competitor, you know, for two combo he, he, like, he was always again the big views. He was always again like the big publicity. And so any any other combo video that wasn't a Desk combo video with a new card is kind of obsolete automatically, in my opinion. So I didn't do anything for Relento. I may, like I said, I may do something in the future, maybe with some of the newer characters, I'm not sure, but if I was to do a new tutorial, it would definitely be on Relento, showing off some of the new stuff that I've discovered, showing off some of the interesting setups he has. You know, the way the way I think you should play him, because I see the way people play him now, and I kind of disagree with it, to be honest, because I think it's very gimmicky, the way people play Relento. A, a lot of people play him like, oh, hey, look, look at me, I can do a flipping mi I can do a cross up like every single time. Like after a while, people are going to learn how to anti air that, how to focus past it, how to do this and the other. You know, I think he's more of a footsie base card. Like his pokes are very good, I think. He's got really good range. So, I mean, I mean who, who am I? Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying my opinion on that. And for, for the most part, it has been successful, you know, on online, of course. You know, I, I don't go to tournaments or anything well, yet, but I don't go to tournaments for it. So I don't really have like an educated opinion against really experienced tournament players. But from whole I've been playing of him, you know, is, is, is garnished him success, so that's the main part. Um, what else? Yeah, I was. I, I'm going to continue doing ranked sets like I did for the other Street Fighter games. I'm going to continue doing the, um, you know, doing ranked sets of different characters. I never really liked doing ranked sets with Rose because I always thought everyone would flip and fell asleep during the ranked sets with Rose because they're very boring. But I'll probably do some with Rose once I get better with Relento. I'll probably start doing them with Relento once I start actually hitting my flipping combos consistently. Once I hit the training room and start mastering how you know the timing and stuff, and don't flip and drop something why I just did there now. Hopefully that'll be quite soon. I'm definitely gonna have some more stuff going on. I might make a general uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 thoughts video at some point. I might make a general oh you know here are my thoughts. Maybe like get a few other people on board. Like if you remember, I did that. I did a solo one for AE 2012. I did one just by myself. I might get a few other people in there because I remember we were talking about. Um, the older Street Fighter 4 announcement and like Red Focus and stuff with Sandman and uh, the Aerial Lord, so I might get them back. Uh, you know, maybe get some new people in as well. You know, you never know. So we might get a few different stuff going on. But uh, this video, this video is a way to close off pretty much here. Like uh, running off, as you can see, I'm going pretty nuts here. See, I, I, I love whenever you get some momentum with Lento because then the other person just feels so helpless, so so brilliant. Also, that stunning medium punch is a brilliant anti-air. But yeah, definitely expect the footage will be resuming. Absolutely. Um, like I, I, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be taking a week break uh, next Monday. I'll be busy with stuff, and um, but before that, you know, I'll definitely be recording some more footage. I'm enjoying the game. I'm loving the game. No sign of me stopping it. So there's the video ended. Uh, my name is Pete Oak, and I guess I'll see you for more Ultra Shiva 4 footage in the future. So peace.